So this is version 2 of my piston display counter. I've added a second digit and it counts from 00, zero up to 99 and then repeats. Um, the only visible differences between this one and the last one, I've uh, I dropped it down to 10 segments um, for ease of wiring because the wiring was just a nightmare, especially when these two digits are so close together. Um, so as a result, I lost um, this digit, or this pixel, and this pixel are fixed now. This one's always off, and this one's always on. Um, but I don't think overall it really affects the uh, readability of the numbers too much. You can see it's just counting away there. Um, so there's uh, there's the wiring for the segments, and then here's the memory unit. I'm gonna go over to the quiet side. So each um, each digit is controlled by its own memory tape or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a 4 by 4 loop um, by 10 blocks long, um, one for each segment. And the uh, reading element is in, in the center of the loop here. You can see it's when it hits a block that's conductive, like these wool blocks, it passes the signal through. When it hits glass, it doesn't. Um, so each of these are the patterns for the individual numbers. Um, and let me just shut it off here. So these two, this purple stripe is the uh, divider between these two um, digits. So these are the ones and those are the tens over there. Um, now this um, particular strip is my control strip. Um, it's all glass except for one uh, conductive block. Um, and when it um, is triggered, it happens to be this one right here. Oh, let me turn that off. All right, when it's triggered, um, it sends a signal down this line to this piston, when this piston is turned on, it fires off this clock one time, which rotates the memory unit um, by one segment. So every time that hits nine, this rotates one, um, one chunk. Um, to demonstrate this a bit, I've uh, set up this this uh, scale model here. So we've got these two clock timers here, uh, four-way pulsers, um, and then here I've got two uh, sort of demonstration memory blocks. So this is my control track here. When this conductive block comes in between these two, passes a signal down this, which triggers that. 
to trigger that piston. So you can see it, if you watch on the left, it triggers it. It rotates the one on the right by one drop. And uh, that's it. I can go into a little more detail if anybody would like. Um, but if not, that's my uh, that's my new display counter. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Ooh.